The yeas are 71, the nays are 28. After passing a two-year federal budget last week, the Senate is rife with anticipation about the next order of business, immigration. It's going to happen right here. Stay tuned on C-SPAN. Next week could be historic. We love the dreamers. President Donald Trump set the stage for the debate last year when he terminated Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, a program that granted temporary legal status to immigrants brought illegally to America as children. Trump gave Congress until March 5th to address their plight. At that point, 1,000 young people each day, on average, will lose their protection from deportation and their legal right to work in America. Lawmakers of both parties say young immigrants deserve a chance at the American dream. I see this as a, an opportunity for these individuals that have literally grown up in our country to be able to be full participants in our country. But the president wants more than a DACA fix. We need the wall. We're going to get the wall. We've identified three priorities for creating a safe, modern, and lawful immigration system, securing the border, ending chain migration, and canceling the terrible visa lottery. Aside from building a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border, Trump wants to lower the number of immigrants America accepts from around the world and prioritize newcomers with advanced work skills. Democrats suggest a smaller deal, legal status for DACA recipients, also known as DREAMers, and beefing up U.S. borders. There's an appetite on both sides and in both chambers to get this done, both helping the DREAMers and border security. Senior Republican lawmakers say Trump deserves credit for the totality of his immigration proposal. But President Trump has done something that President Obama never did. He's offered 1.8 million young adults who are currently DACA recipients and DACA eligible an opportunity to get on a pathway to American citizenship. That's an incredibly generous offer. What, if anything, might the Senate actually pass? Well, I obviously cannot guarantee any outcome, let alone, let alone supermajority support. I can ensure the process is fair to all sides and that is what I intend to do. McConnell has promised an open debate, meaning there is no time limit and senators may offer an unlimited number of proposals for consideration. Anything the Senate approves must pass in the House of Representatives and get Trump's signature to become law. Michael Bowman, VOA News, Washington.